ओके सो बिफोर वी गेट टू द वीडियो नथिंग फोन टू इज ऑन सेल राइट नाउ ऑन फ्लिपकार्ट सो द वीडियो स्टिल साइंस ट्रू वी हैव टॉक ऑल अबाउट इट वॉच इट टिल ओके नथिंग फोन टू वन प्लस इलेवन आर पिक्सल सेवन ए सो रिसेंटली नथिंग फोन टू वॉज रिलीज एंड इट हैड रियली गुड नथिंग ओ एस टू एंड दिस ग्लिफ लाइट एंड इट सीम्स लाइक द होल मॉडर्न डे कंप्लीट फ्लैगशिप के लिए फोन बट द नथिंग फोन वन वॉज रिलीज फॉर थर्टी टू ट्रिपल नाइन एंड दिस नथिंग फोन टू कॉस्ट फोर्टी फोर ट्रिपल नाइन दैट इज लाइक अ प्राइस इंक्रीज ऑफ ऑलमोस्ट फोर्टी परसेंट एंड यू स्टिल अग्री दैट नथिंग इज स्टिल a new company so in this 40k price segment you also get the camera king pixel 7a or you even get this one plus 11r so the question that has to be asked is which phone is the best around 40000 or which is the best flagship killer well to find that out we wanted to thoroughly test these phones and have a proper review then following the embargo date you can't review a device using it for like 3 to 4 days so you guys should wait a little bit and like the video for the effort 12000 likes please please Now before you begin two things number one we have already covered all these phones before you can go check out those videos for specs and all of that and number two we'll be talking more about practical aspects like camera software performance battery etc so that you get a clear picture and we'll be giving scores to each phones so your decision gets better like right on when you hold these phones all three phones have unique and different designs like have a look at the pixel 7a first i really like this robocop style camera strip it is very unique no other brand has this design like if you are in public it is easy to spot a pixel phone other than this the back is curved and you get an aluminum frame but my only concern with the pixel 7a is this part like i can't show you exactly on camera but every time when you hold the phone you can feel the place where the back ends and the side begins like this is sort of a sharp feeling in your hand plus the back is plastic so you see it easily gets scratched coming to the OnePlus 11R well i like this design it has the premium feel when you hold it it's all corning gorilla glass 5 on the back the frame is polycarbonate though and overall looks are subjective but surely if you have the nothing phone 2 in public it stands out like it has a proper mixture of boxiness and curviness like the back is slightly curved which makes it pretty easy to hold plus it has corning gorilla glass 5 protection on the back and the side is also made from aluminum so holding the phone feels very premium and of course of course you have this entire glyph interface which makes the phone very unique like no other brand has this feature so yeah i would say the nothing phone 2 clearly stands out in design coming to the display all the three phones have similar specs like all have amoled display full hd resolution however there are three key differences number 1 oneplus 11r and phone 2 are 120 hz whereas the pixel 7a is 90 hz and unless you see them side by side bold statement i don't see a major difference between 90 and 120 hz Number 2 Nothing Phone 2 has an LTPO display meaning the refresh rate can change from 10 hertz all the way to 120 hertz let me show you so i'll just keep all the three phones side by side and i'll open calculator and see on the 7a and 11r refresh rate is 60 hertz whereas on the phone 2 it is 10 hertz so this variable refresh rate helps reduce battery consumption and number 3 the display quality see all the three displays are equally good bright contrasty and here's something very interesting So Pixel 7a and OnePlus 11r support HDR on Netflix but see if I play the same scene from Queen's Gambit on all the three phones side by side Netflix's picture quality and brightness is better like the sharpness color and all looks so good other than these phone 2's display is flat so it is easy to get screen protection and the bezels here are very small and symmetrical so from a display point of view I would go with the Nothing Phone 2 But the most important thing in this price range is the camera. So you can pause the video right over here and you can read the specs and everything is just number but let me make it easy for you and let's get straight to the camera sample. See this picture all the phones take decent picture but I would say the Pixel 7a is better like the skin tone, sharpness, color and everything is on point. Or even see this picture of me standing against the sun. Pixel's HDR is spot on like the sun in the background, the flare is properly exposed. Even the picture on my t-shirt is clearly visible. Nothing in OnePlus is good but I would still prefer the Pixel shot. Or even in this picture the color of my shoe looks the most accurate on the Pixel. Like OnePlus has made it pink or god knows what this color is. Coming to ultra wide the story is the same. Pixel takes the better shot with nothing a close second. OnePlus has completely overexposed the wall behind me. Even in this picture the story is same. Pixel and nothing is good but look at the grass. OnePlus has boosted the colors. Now this story kind of flips in low light because see this picture I prefer the shot of OnePlus 11R. like it has more light proper white balance here nothing was the worst it looks greenish or even this next photo one plus pictures look brighter 
Coming to the videos, all the phones can shoot at 4K 60fps max, but here's something interesting. Only on the Pixel 7a, even while recording the video, you can switch between the main and ultra wide angle lens. OnePlus 11R and Phone 2 cannot do that. And selfies, more or less, the story is the same. Pixel 7a has the best skin tone, nothing is close second. But OnePlus 11R has just boosted the contrast like my skin, the sky and even my shirt looks odd. Even on selfie videos, Pixel has an upper hand because Pixel 7a is the only phone that can do 4K selfie video. The OnePlus 11R and nothing phone 2 can only do 1080p. So overall, Pixel 7a seems to take it all. But, 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 there is a big catch with Pixel 7a and I'll come to that in just a moment. Hang on. Coming to performance, all the phones have last year's flagship chips. Pixel 7a has a Tensor G2 chip, nothing phone 2 and OnePlus 11R has the Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1. Now in normal day-to-day -day usage, browsing the web, watching videos and all, there's no lag or anything. Like, of course, there shouldn't be. You're paying 40,000. Now we didn't play games during our testing, but of course we cannot show you that entire gaming section else the video will become too big and boring. Rather, let me show you two benchmarks. See, the OnePlus 11R and Phone 2 has the same processor, but the Phone 2 scores more in every benchmark because 11 hours performance is capped. We also ran CPU throttling test which runs the CPU at 100% and just look at Pixel 7a, it's just completely red and this phone gets pretty hot quickly in day-to-day -day use. Like when we are taking camera sample, Pixel 7a reduced its brightness drastically like you cannot see anything. See here side by side and then when we were shooting video, it showed this message and just stopped taking videos altogether. So for performance, I would pick the Nothing Phone 2. It has better scores and better thermals and is more consistent. Now things get very interesting coming to software. All the three phones are known to be very clean. You don't see any third-party apps, bloatware, etc. OnePlus 11R comes with Oxygen OS 13 and for the most part, the software the experience here is good too. But there are some points that I should mention with the new OnePlus. Like this phone comes with internet or Oppo browser, which is a separate browser and you cannot uninstall it. At max, you can disable it, which is still fine. And though there aren't any ads, but when you search something on the app drawer, see you get these recommendation. Now, if you click on it, it takes you to the Google Play Store. So it's not a big deal because you can even turn this off, but I would have preferred if it wasn't there in the first place. Nothing Phone 2 on the other hand has the best software experience like it is a perfect blend of stock Android with added functionality. See there is no bloatware so it has a clean Android experience just like a Pixel phone but what you don't get from a Pixel phone are those extra features like let me show you. So see here you can add widgets on the lock screen and now I can just simply tap here and let there be light. No need to unlock the phone. Or you can just add quick settings like Wi-Fi, mobile data, anything. But here's my favorite. You can have glyph timer and you can just tap, start and done. Also the lock screen widgets go to the always on display and see you get weather alerts, everything. This is by far I feel the best always on display implementation. Overall, Pixel 7a is the best in Android experience but I would put nothing phone to right up there. Like the software has the vision and makes small daily tasks easy for you. I found OnePlus 11R to be the least in terms of software. And since we are speaking of extra features, the Pixel 7a has wireless charging, IP68 water resistance and the OnePlus 11R has the alert slider. These are good extra features, but nothing beats the Glyph interface, like literally nothing. See, it doesn't only make the phone look cool and unique, but it also adds useful features. For instance, if I set a timer, this portion of the interface lights up as a progress bar. Or see, if I'm recording a video, the red light blinks. So suppose if you take videos this way, it's easy to know that the phone is still recording video. Now we have already covered the full glyph interface in our dedicated video. You can go check that out after watching this video. But even if you find the glyph interface gimmicky or just too hard to get used to it, you also get wireless charging as well as reverse wireless charging with Nothing Phone 2. So even the basic features are covered. And the battery life is excellent on the Nothing Phone 2. So what's the conclusion then? Which is the best flagship killer of 2023? Well, here is where the whole dilemma lies. See, no doubt, Nothing Phone 2 is the better of the three. It has better display, better software, better build, and the Glyph interface is cherry on the top. That being said, it is expensive at 44999. Plus remember, you'll have to buy the charger and cover separately. That 2000 for the charger and 2000 for the cover. So you can count it to be 50,000. On the other hand, you have the OnePlus 11R. This sells for 39999, including charger and case. The pricing is what I feel is bang on for OnePlus 11R. India is a value for money country and OnePlus 11R does everything good for that price. So I would say if you want a phone now and your budget is fixed at 40,000, then the OnePlus 11R is a good option. Okay, Pratik from the future. 
listen carefully there are rumors that the nothing phone 2 will go on discount in the upcoming flipkart sale you'll get instant cashback of 3000 on most bank credit cards and you'll get extra 4000 off on exchange so if you can get this for under 35 40000 get the nothing phone 2 for pixel 7a bro if you go outside quite a lot use mobile data the phone heats and there is battery drain the phone doesn't last one full day so stay away from it only for camera enthusiast you can try pixel 7a on that note this is pradeep signing off see you in the next video pew pew pew